Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shelley and I'm the Irish foodie. Today I'm going to be making Algerian couscous. I hope you enjoy. This is a super simple recipe. As you can see, there's not a lot of ingredients. Now today I'm using thick lamb chops. However, for a cheaper version, you could use chicken thighs with the skin on and they would give tons of flavor as well. So as you can see, I'm going to use three carrots, one courgette or zucchini. I'm going to use some salted butter. Obviously you can use unsalted. So today I'm using ginger, this is the root of ginger, I'm just going to peel it, chop it and throw it in. I'm also going to be using some potatoes, a white onion and then some olive oil, you can use vegetable if you want. So I'm going to use some harissa paste, now this is a Tunisian paste, it's full of spices and peppers, tastes amazing. Then I've got a tin of chopped tomatoes, we're going to serve it alongside some of this couscous that I've picked up. And then I'm going to add some of these chickpeas as well. So here you can see I've prepped. I've got 60 grams of butter. That's going to go in the couscous later on. My ginger is peeled and chopped up. You can use more if you prefer the taste of ginger. That's my courgette chopped into chunky pieces. My carrots again chopped into bite-sized pieces. I've got my potatoes which I've peeled and halved. And the white onion we've kept really chunky because we want that to be active in the dish. You'll also see I've weighed out 300 grams of couscous and that's for four people. So I've got a big pot. I'm going to give it a good glug of oil because I'm going to want my lamb chops to cook in here. So once our oil's nice and hot, I'm going to add the lamb chops and we're going to make sure they get a lovely sear on them. We're not cooking them through at this point. We're just getting a nice sear on them. That'll add all of the flavour into our dish later on. So on a medium heat, you'll find these are going to cook pretty quickly. You don't want them to go totally brown and cook through, as I say. You just want a colour on them, a light colour. So once these start colouring, we're going to flip them over to the other side and do exactly the same, making sure we get that lovely golden colour on both sides. Right, so after a couple of minutes, we've got the lovely colour. We're going to add our chunky onions and we're going to give everything in this pan a really good stir because we want those juices all over everything. So once our onions have been cooking for kind of three to four minutes, we don't want caramelisation on them. We just want them to have a nice even colour. We're going to add our carrots to the pan. And then we're going to add our potatoes. And once again, we're going to give everything a really good stir, give it a mix through because we don't want anything burning on the bottom and we want all those juices over everything that's in that pan. So once everything's cooked for about five minutes, I'm going to take my kettle of boiling water and I'm going to pour the water into the pan, making sure that everything in the pan is covered with the boiling water. This is a stew, so it is going to cook for a little bit. So we want everything to be covered, nothing drying out of the top. So you can see I've added my courgettes at this stage too and then I'm going to add my tomatoes. Now at this stage I only want half a tin of tomatoes. If you taste this later on and you think you need some more, just add the rest if you can. Then again I'm going to give it a lovely good stir to get those flavours throughout the dish. And then we're going to need to season the whole thing with lots of lots of pepper and a little bit of salt. You can obviously taste and season as you go, but loads of pepper you're going to want just to flavour this dish. So I'm also going to throw in my ginger and then once again I'm going to give everything a massive stir. Lids on now and we want to get this to a nice boil on a medium temperature. Our stew has now been cooking for 30 minutes, so I'm going to want to take the lid off and I'm going to want to give it another stir just to make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom of the pan. And then once I do that, I'm going to add in my chickpeas. So you want the full can to go in at this point. So we're giving everything another really good stir just to mix all those ingredients that we've just added again. So the final thing I'm going to add here you'll see is that harissa paste we talked about earlier. Now I'm only going to add a half a teaspoonful because my other half really doesn't like the flavour of it. However, you can add anything up to half a jar and it will make your dish taste absolutely delicious and really authentic. So I'm going to give the dish a final stir just to get that harissa mixed through and then you're going to want to let it cook out for about five to ten minutes just to get the flavours. 
So while our stew's cooking, we've got our couscous in a bowl. I'm gonna take some boiling water from the kettle and I'm gonna fill this bowl up. Now we want the water to be about an inch above the couscous because the couscous is gonna suck it all in and then it's become, gonna become really fluffy and lovely. And we're gonna add our butter at this stage because once it absorbs all that water, it's gonna make the couscous really luxurious and buttery. So after five to 10 minutes, you'll see the couscous has absorbed everything, all that water, and we're just gonna use a fork to just fluff it all up and make it look amazing. So as I said at the start, this dish serves four people, so you've got enough couscous for four people. So you just wanna split that evenly. Each portion of couscous has about 367 calories. That's just with the butter as well. Once the couscous is plated, then we're gonna put that lovely stew on top. Now the stew actually contains about 400 calories. So all in all, not a hugely calorific dish, but something that's absolutely really tasty. So here we have our finished Algerian couscous. It's an amazing dish, really tasty and perfect for those wintry nights. Thanks for watching guys. If you've enjoyed the video, then hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel to see all my future cooking videos. And hopefully I'll see you again soon.